story now, though, because you like tea. Yes, I do. I like tea. I have tea every morning. <laughs> this is a story about a teapot that's filled with other teapots. <laughs> What's that all about? Well, let's take you to Ellery, South Carolina to check it out. When you arrive at Jay's terrific teapot museum, you're greeted right from the start with none other than a teapot, the world's largest teapot. And inside, shelf after shelf after shelf of teapots, plus teapots on tea carts, teapots in a garden, and teapot ornaments. Bee's fruit stand is full of fruit-themed teapots. Noah's Ark is full of animal teapots. And just look at all of the anniversary-themed teapots. Cows, hens, and Christmas teapots. The themes go on and on. Just make it very clear that it's my husband's collection. Oh, he's the culprit. That's Sybil Bolin. And you heard her say this is her husband Julian Bolin's collection but it's Mrs. Bolin who's arranged all of the teapots here at the museum. I think uh, you find it pretty interesting what Sybil's done because she has placed every teapot that's in here. Um, I want to give her credit for that. This was Julian's dream. He wanted to do the museum. It's his collection, and there were too many teapots in our house. I wouldn't allow any more in there, so he had to put them somewhere. As for how Mr. Bowen started collecting teapots, it was sort of by accident. We were in Charleston, the antique shop on King Street, and I saw some flatware silver uh, monogram with B, and I thought, well, yeah, that would be neat. I would love to have that, so I asked him if he'd get it for me. And we got home, we found he had a teapot and cream and sugar. It did not resemble flatware, it did not have a B on it, but it looks nice over here. It's over 100 years old, and if I had bought the flatware, it would be home in a drawer, so I think the teapot was a better choice. So I don't know how in the world I made that bigger error because I didn't, I hardly knew what a teapot was. I could care less. So that was the first teapot Mr. Bolin bought. Now he has thousands of them. Ms. Bolin estimates there are more than 3,000 teapots on display at the museum and another couple thousand at their home. I may have several questions. One, how long have you been collecting? Um, how many do you have? And why did you start? <laughs> and, and the answer for all of them pretty much is, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. And then it just kept snowballing, I guess, and I got interested in different shapes, sizes, and where they came from. Many of the teapots in his collection are from different countries. Some were given to the Bolins by family and friends. Others, Mr. Bolin bought at flea markets or antique stores. He has an illness, I think. I think it's called teapotitis or something. I asked a, a psychiatrist friend one time if he had uh, medication to take care of that, and he said, no, I don't, but I have something I can give you, you can tolerate it. But he never wrote the prescription. As for the museum, the Bolins don't charge admission. Mr. Bolin says he just likes sharing his collection with others, and Mrs. Bolin says folks really seem to enjoy seeing the teapots. Well, they normally don't expect to see this many. The first thing they say when they open that door is, wow, I've never seen so many teapots. I think some people expect the teapot outside to be the museum and they're not looking for this area in here but they just say when did you start collecting I have to remind them it's not my collection it's his he's the culprit ah isn't that something That's else really cool and, and what's really <laughs> cool about it too is that you know it'd be one thing to have a collection of teapots that's pretty unusual in and of itself but to actually make a building that looks like a teapot to put your teapots in i, I just think that's it's fascinating. only fitting if the building is shaped like a teapot oh time. yes <laughs> it is and speaking of drinking tea mr and mrs bolin like tea and mr bolin says that if mrs bolin knows when he's going to be getting home uh -huh. she'll put on a fresh pot of tea so that by the time he gets there the tea is ready it's fresh and so they'll sit together there and have a cup of tea themselves. Oh, that's sweet, mm -hmm. sweet. Now, when is the museum open? It is open Wednesday through Fridays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. and by appointment, and they love to have groups there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the tea museum is located behind a pharmacy store there that is owned by the Bolins. <laughs> it's Bolin Pharmacy there in Ellery, and the Teapot Museum is right behind you it. You can't miss it if you see Bolin Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. All right, well, coming up next on Carolina Camera. The beautiful sights of the North Carolina coast, and we have a very special guide. Can't be in a hurry. It's too pretty a ride to get in a hurry. Carolina Camera will be right back.